this is Todd. I've got Samson here with me. Samson's a male German Shepherd. He uh, just came yesterday afternoon. So uh, just some general observations on Samson. He's a uh, he's a, got a nice temperament. He's a little more of a shy dog. New things might you know bother him a little bit. Uh, he's very good with children. The owners have two small children, and he's great with them. Uh, he's curious. He's inquisitive. Uh, so long he's got along fine with the other dogs. So this is the first time I've really taken him out and messed with him in the training area on the side yard. Uh, and I just want to kind of see what he's like. Come on, boy. Good dog. Responsive. Uh, just kind of work him a little bit and just get him started on the collar. Uh, I put a uh, Tritronics collar on him and he didn't really seem to, to work great for that. Sometimes these furrier dogs don't feel that collar very well. And so I've got him on a dog tra. And I find that like the Shepherds and the Huskies, sometimes the dog tra is a little bit better collar. So, uh, and it just varies. Some dogs do a lot better on Tritronics. So uh, let's kind of work him a little bit. Come on, buddy. Good. Good. I don't care today if he stays right with me and you know on my right side on my left side. I just basically want to make sure he's turned just where I'm at. Uh, as I tap him with the collar a little bit, uh, as he moves me and can come back to me. Good boy. Good dog. And the owner, the owner tells me that they've trained this dog with food a little bit, but it didn't work out great because the dog got way too excited. Um, I might try some food the first few days, but then I'll probably move away from that. Uh, and lots of owners don't want to mess with food, and, they, and uh, it depends on the owner and the dog. Come here. That's it. Yes. So. Uh, this dog is, have, has some structural issues, too. Both of the front wrists have had surgery. Uh, there's some weakness there. Uh, so, I mean, this dog's cleared for training, but it's, it's not exactly really sound physically. Uh, come on. This dog, I don't want to show you until the end of the session because uh, it really, <laughs> he has a fit when you try to put him in the car. He just locks up his feet and he will not go. So I wanted to get, film that, you know, without work, without overwhelming him, I'm going to film how resistant he is. And then I'll work with him for a few days and we'll film that again. So, come on. You'll notice this cot, this the dog bed's a little bit longer than the standard one that I use. Uh, you can buy a longer one for long dogs, uh, like for a Dane or for a Shepherd, this is a better bed. And I think I know one of the reasons why the owner didn't like food training with this dog. When he takes food from me, he takes it really hard. He's really grippy uh, and he's not gentle. So uh, we can do some simple training on that to fix that so he's taking food more politely. And typically what that's going to be is just me pinning the food with my thumb. And when the dog, when the dog shoves on me, I kind of shove back a little bit. And when he's polite, I let him have it. Uh, it also tells me something about the dog's food drive. If I'm... Uh, if I've got a piece of food behind my thumb and he tries once or twice and gives up, his food drive isn't that high. But if he just keeps drilling and drilling and drilling and trying to get that food, he's got a high food drive. And he, he makes a few half-hearted attempts and he quits. So his food drive is not huge right now. He already 
Hey, does that understand a nice job of teaching him some of this basic stuff? He's another one of those dogs that knows how to do a fair amount of things already, but he's going to need uh, help to learn to ignore distractions and, and to work before me. for a minute and move the car around and show you how resistant this dog is to getting in the car.